let's take a look here. Oh yeah, not great fire coverage in this area. We need to do better. Oh my. Welcome back to Mordelago where I'm using the concept of the 15 minute city to build a pedestrian utopia in city skylines. We got utility issues. This city is in major need of a utility upgrade. We need water, power, garbage, all the things, especially with the downtown build looming and major population about to be added. This is gonna be a super cool industrial neighborhood. It's gonna have its own unique feel. In this neighborhood though, I am not gonna be putting any homes. We've got plenty of residents surrounding this neighborhood that could easily walk to work and we've got the tram stop right here as well. So this will be one of the rare neighborhoods in the city where we don't have all mixed zoning, but we will have commercial industry and these service buildings all in one neighborhood. And I think it's gonna work out really well and it still fits in with the concept of the 15 minute city because we do have homes so close and people can walk to work if they do work over in this area of town. Additionally, this neighborhood will be a great pedestrian area as you can walk through this neighborhood to get to the trams or to the waterfront or over to the hospital. So it will be utilized in that way as well. I added in a second water pump because we needed it and that will just shore up our utilities for our downtown build. Let's do a spot of detailing. I didn't show you guys last time. So on this block of little high density apartments, we have a coffee shop, a gas station, a car wash, and an ATM. Like that's the definition of the 15 minute city, all those services right there. And then looking at this, I realized these apartment complexes really don't have any parking. So I decided to take away trees, which I don't do often, and add in some parking for these residents. It was really important to me to add in little pockets of places people can eat and grab food that's near enough to all the industrial buildings we're putting in for the workers to have a place they can easily grab lunch. We do have a lot of green space already in the area. I don't think we need a park here. Um, let's see what other services that we might need. I'm thinking, let's take a look here. Oh yeah. Not great fire coverage in this area. We need to do better. Oh my. So I think what I'll do is remove this pedestrian connection. I'll put it back and let's add in a large fire station here. And I think it fits with the industrial vibe of the neighborhood and also provides a very important service. And it's got great connection. You're close to the major collector here. All right, now that we have all of our service buildings down, I think that are going to go in this area, let's really get into some major detailing and get this area of the city pulled together with landscaping and really bring this neighborhood to life and give it a unique feeling.
I decided to break up the fencing here because I want the people that work over here at the road maintenance um, building or these offices to be able to easily walk over to our medium mug cafe right here and grab a cup of joe if they need to or I don't know, a lunch or something. <laughs> like, It's important to me. I think about these things clearly. Uh, getting people where they need to go quickly and giving them good access and of course creating little cute places for them to have their cup of coffee or eat lunch. I love this stuff. It was also really important to me to give these water pumping stations their own access. So I'm just using a dirt path. We can pretend it's a little rural road that you know someone could drive down if they need to, but I just use some fencing and really make it feel like its own thing, giving it some security. I end up using the zoo fence um, in front to mimic a gate. So I'm just pretending that's a gate. Um, that only you know certain people have the key to so they can do maintenance and then just bringing in a lot of lush detailing in this area near the water um, just felt really good to me And right down here, I thought it would be helpful to have an, um, an outhouse, like a restroom or two. This will be one of the starting points of our nature walk, um, ocean walk trail. And so I'm just thinking ahead to that a little bit. And then I also want to provide a little place you could sit. And maybe if you're waiting for the tram or, um, you know, waiting for friends to come join you to do the, um, the ocean walk we'll have to give that a name if you guys have any name suggestions of what we should call our um, nature walk along the ocean let me know i am so excited to do that but that's gonna have to be another episode
So I wanted to give this industrial neighborhood a main street. So I'm doing a mixture of commercial and some offices, some different sizes along this road. And it has a small, like a, a smaller town main street vibe, um, but in an urban area. And then you've got the industry surrounding it. I think it just gives it a really unique feel. And I absolutely love using this cafe as a diagonal here. I think it just like welcomes you into this neighborhood in such a nice way. And I don't know, a neighborhood like this, you could definitely see being a bit trendy um, as it grows. Guys, also uh, comment below and let me know your name suggestions for this neighborhood. I really need to get better about being more intentional about asking for name suggestions and actually naming things, which we will do in an upcoming episode very soon. It was really important to me to control the height of the buildings here because this is just the very edge of our downtown and so I really want to work up slowly in layers and height as Overcharge Egg would say and just really make sure it feels good coming into the downtown. But having this little industrial main street here just I love how it turned out. I think it's so cute and it's um, very convenient too. Oh and then now there's a reason to bring in uh, our first tram stop on our downtown line right into this area. I am so itching to get in and do a transit episode. We might do it sooner than I had planned. And as you can see, I ended up using surface painter and I just pulled the dirt all through the top of this industrial neighborhood all the way back to the power plants. And I really feel like it pulls everything together and gives this neighborhood a unique feel. But let's take a closer look. neighborhood really turned out to be a good connection through point to the surrounding neighborhoods. If you like this concept, I think you'll also like this video, which you can check out right here. I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.